This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit functionalcranialrelease.com. Well, basically, uh, I had these uh, vertigo for probably two years, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I just thought I was something for, with a food, mm -hmm. poison food or something like that. But really, every, every six months, the same thing all mm -hmm. over again. Uh, so I lost w whole week, you know, in my job, mm -hmm. and uh, until uh, a couple of weeks that I saw, I was researching online on YouTube and I saw your videos, you know, migraines, mm -hmm. uh, migraine, uh, vertical, you know, dizziness, uh, very scary. Uh, mm -hmm. So that basically I believe when I saw in your, you know, your clinic, mm -hmm. all the information and. Uh, and that's why I'm here, you know, to get permanent cure. You know, I believe in that procedure, you know. Sure. So. And then I want you to close your eyes. That's a whole lot better than it was when we first did it, isn't it? Yeah, it's very noticeable. Yeah, you're doing much better there. Okay, all right. Well, um, it was in the morning I told him that I wake with a fear, I don't know why. But I get dizzy, you know, testing myself. Mm -hmm. well, Placing a very small balloon that's going to be gently inflated in through the nasal passageway. And as it goes back towards the throat, it actually makes a manipulation of the sphenoid bone, which is this red bone right here. And the um, purpose of doing that is to um, increase the oxygenation um, through the nasal passageway, which um, Carlos was having some difficulty breathing through his nose and not adequately oxygenating himself. We're suspecting in the evening and during sleep um, there were some, some challenges there. And also we're looking at the connective tissues that wind in through the um, brain and spinal cord and actually wind up becoming the whites of the eyes and the sinuses. These the dura mater, or in Latin this stands for tough mother, because it's got 2,000 pounds per square inch of tensile strength. This winds in and it locks up these cranial structures and it prevents a normal motion called cranial rhythm and that cranial rhythm is designed to pump cerebral spinal fluid that brings even more oxygen that bathes the central nervous system and spinal cord. And so we're not only getting an increased airflow through the nasal passageway, we're also getting the normal pumping mechanism of the, of the skull and the central nervous system to circulate that oxygen around the body. So it's a, it's a double whammy, if you will, and it, it's been working very well for a lot of patients with um, different pain syndromes in the head and face as well as um, vertigo and dizziness. And We also treat a lot of patients with jaw problems. Um, visual disturbances and so forth. So, well, what we've got is we've got blocks underneath Carlos's pelvis. Um, we have his head in a very specific um, fashion. We have some foam pads that are specifically placed under her, under his body. Um, Dr. Roberti's going to be holding one of the legs and all of this is in purpose to stabilize the instabilities that I determined in the uh, functional neurologic exam. And basically what, what we're looking to do is allow the release of the dura mater or that tough connective tissue or surrounding the sphenoid bone to be centrally released versus that energy being able to be transferred to other parts of the body. So all of these body positions are really in an effort to get the maximal release um, in the cranium so that we can normalize uh, his um, brain function and his inner ear function. All right. One down. Okay. Deep breath in. Good. That was a good one. What'd you feel there? Relief. 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 Mm -hmm. Definitely. Did it hurt? Uh, it's between pain. And very simple pain. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. What about mm -hmm. like a pressure? Was there a it's pressure? It's just a pressure, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like a, in size, very 
time. Could you, could you hear anything different? Um, just like a little bones, you know, stretching or something. Mm -hmm. But um, the feeling, I you know, I can tell. Yeah. Just the breathing. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get you set up with oxygen. Using EWOT, or Exercise with Oxygen Therapy, we can drive brain function further into repair. The synergistic effect of both the EWOT in combination with the cranial release have proven to be a valuable combination in many of our cases here at the clinic. Feels different now, uh, compared with the first day, you know, uh, totally uh, open, kind of refreshed in a way. Mm -hmm. Being, my wife told me, "Hey, you, you didn't snore," mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, that's a big change, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I just can tell. Uh, thank you so much, you know, for first of all for these uh, procedure, you know, and second because to put this information online was it was the key to uh, for me to come here, you know, yeah. and for so many people too. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com